This is Bechstein Model C, 1913. Uh, excellent piano. I just wanted to make a couple of comments. One is that, uh, because we haven't redone the case on this one, and we want, it's all original. And the reason I haven't redone it is the whole piano has been restored previously very, very well. And the tone of it is just superb. Now, a colleague of ours who's just come to tune the piano um, has tuned it to Kellner temperament. That's the other reason I want to talk about this. And if you listen to this G to B, that's very pure sounding. Again, the C to E, very pure sounding. We talked about this before, but he's particularly keen on this piano. And I want to encourage you to buy this piano if you're interested. Very high quality piano. If you listen to the difference here, that's very pure. And that is beating quite a lot. So we've got a video about the Cullen temperament. Apparently Bach liked it a lot and it was a very popular temperament. Listen to that, that's beating a lot. So basically the home keys, that's F, G and C, have very little beating on the thirds. And the distant keys, a lot of beating. So it it's, sounds so beautiful in the home keys. And the distant keys sound more distant. There's lots been talked about this. I didn't particularly want to go on about that at the moment, but just wanted to encourage you about the whole piano. David, who's the tuner, and um, I'm sure, David, you'll comment on this, um, was so keen on this piano. But I know from experience that this piano, because of the cosmetics, won't sell for as much. So if you want a bargain piano, I want to encourage you to buy this. Uh, ironically, if we were to redo this piano in black, we have done that before, when the piano itself has not been performing well, as this one has such good strings and hammers, we've redone the whole piano and it would sell for three times as much as it's currently marked up at. And it will cost less to do up. So ironically, we make more profit uh, redoing the whole piano than we do selling it like this. And a beautiful pure sound on the home keys. I just want to show you the, the contrast with the normal tuning. So normally it will be equal temperament so we listen to these two notes and those two, and we're going to listen to the same notes on a similar raised blute in the grand. This is the Blutner, 1924, I think. And of course, it should be equal temperament. We're going to fine tune this piano again, but um, progressively more beating as you go up. And we'll listen to the Beckstein compared to that. See the home keys, very pure. The distant keys, very impure sounding, beating very loud, very strongly. I'll put a link to the Kellner Temperament video so you can see what the actual beating is. It's just so beautiful though. It does make the home keys very beautiful indeed. And the hammers are beautiful on this piano too. The touch weight is excellent. So I just want to encourage you basically and uh, I know when I bought this piano it might be hard to sell because of the looks but in fact this music desk is very attractive and, and the whole piano is attractive. You'll see the original video I've made of this piano when we came in for assessment. So if you're interested, please do write to us, info at robertspianos.com. If you want to try the piano out, the rental is very low as well. So thank you very much for listening. Pleased to say that since the video was made, we've changed the felt here, which looked a bit worn in the middle, and put some felt that's be long wearing.